Well, they are ticked off and they want answers. Lyme disease sufferers and their families gathered at rallies across the country today to bring attention to their plight. They say their disease is not being properly diagnosed by Canadian doctors, and as a result of that, it is not being treated. A news reporter, Astrid Brownschmidt, was at the rally in Victoria today. She joins us now with more. Astrid. Hudson, 16-year-old Nicole Bottles might not look sick, but American doctors say she is with chronic Lyme disease. Today she shared her story at the rally at the legislature where Lyme sufferers and their families called on Canadian doctors to recognize the tick-borne illness and provide adequate treatment. 16-year-old Nicole Bottles is fighting illness while she fights bureaucracy. To those who still don't believe that Lyme disease is an epidemic that causes multi-organ damage, I'd say bite me. But gosh, believe it or not, something already did. What bit her 18 months ago to make her so sick? She and her American doctors believe it was a tick carrying Lyme. She and other Lyme disease sufferers are calling for better diagnosis and treatment in Canada. We have de-insured those people under our public health care system, and that's intolerable. The group says doctors in B.C. are not educated on Lyme disease and that it almost always goes undiagnosed. We were seen by um, her GP and walk-in doctors over eight times. Then we went to uh, specialists, rheumatologists, um, ER docs, uh, pediatric specialists. Finally, American doctors diagnosed Nicole with Lyme disease. can't imagine the, the pain and the pain everywhere and the nausea and all of the other symptoms. Symptoms of Lyme include fever, headache, chills, fatigue, and a bullseye rash at the site of a tick bite. Left untreated, it can progress to muscle and joint pain, heart palpitations, and central nervous system disorders. Nicole's medications are expensive, $1,600 per month, and they're not covered by MSP. Add to that the cost of traveling to the U.S. to see specialists, and the family home had to be sold. We sold our house in East Soup. Uh, we have a lot of debts. Former MLA David Coverley, now with the Canadian Lyme Disease Foundation, says health officials dismiss Lyme disease the way they once dismissed AIDS. Now there's been tremendous pushback with AIDS because eventually they got the attention of public health authorities. Um, but there's no sense of urgency around Lyme disease. I can certainly promise you we're not ignoring uh, what is uh, obviously a very important issue. What we are doing though is having doctors in British Columbia follow the international protocols that have been set for diagnosing and recognizing Lyme disease. Nicole is starting to feel better and has hopes for her future. I want to be a doctor and help people. In the meantime, her mother says she'll continue to fight for her daughter. Well, I'll fight as long as it takes us. It doesn't matter. Now, Canada reports about 30 cases of Lyme disease every year. In addition to better diagnosis and treatment, people at today's Lyme disease rally would like the province to establish a standalone Lyme disease clinic. Lyme disease victims held rallies in other BC locations, including Vancouver and Kelowna and Hudson. They coincided with rallies that were held right across the country today. All right, Astrid Brunswick reporting. Astrid, thank you. You're welcome.